Okay, this is uh, this is our first bidder for Western Penn 70, which is uh, Tempe in 2017. Hi. <laughs> Can you hear me okay? Okay, I'm Tia Stell. This is? I'm Costa. Uh, I'm Gary Spotty, technically the big chair, but since she will be the chair if we win, uh, she's doing the presentation. And I'm Kevin Mackle. We are here to uh, represent the Western Con 2017 bid for City, Arizona. Uh, we are sponsored by EpiCon Inc., uh, which also uh, hosted the Western Con in 2009. EpiCon <clears throat> Inc. puts on EpiCon every year. Uh, we are also we have also sponsored Western Con, World Fantasy. Uh, World Horror and Nebulous and Discworld. Uh, we've already uh, locked in our hotel. The Tempe Mission Palms that we hosted uh, Western Con 62. Hotel and membership rates have been locked in at the same rate for, uh, that we had at 2009. Uh, hotel and membership rates have been locked in. Yeah, sorry, there we go. <laughs> I'm nervous, sorry. <laughs> uh, we hosted uh, Leprechaun 41 last week. Uh, we attracted over 500 memberships, uh, attendees. Uh, much of the success we have tied into some of our guests as people um, came from out of state to see um, some of our uh, wonderful guests of honor. We have uh, Ken Kelly as our artist, uh, David, David Jewell um, as our author, uh, comic book art <coughs> artist, <laughs> Larry Hanna. Uh, we have uh, Camille and Camille and Kennedy, the Hot Twins. The Hot Twins, and they were awesome. <laughs> uh, we had uh, the gamer and author uh, Hugo nominated uh, Jennifer. <coughs> uh, we had author Gaten Ward and local artist Victor Marino. Um, we bring a variety of experience to this table. Um, for myself, I have. Uh, I'm the uh, Steampunk Coordinator for Phoenix Comic Con. I am the uh, Fashion and Costuming Director for Wild Wild West Con. Uh, I've been on the baby for the con for several years, for Dark Con, for Copper Con. Um, I also do, I'm an executive staff for Phoenix Fair Con. Uh, I also do charity fundraisers for Geeks for Good. Um, I do screening for uh, various film festivals uh, throughout Arizona. And, and we, between us, we co-founded and co-run a local Arizona steampunk group, uh, the Arizona Painting Rifle. So uh, definitely uh, expect to see some steampunk at our convention yes. as well, should we win the bid. So I'm very excited about this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Totally looking forward to that. Yeah, to add, I will say that this woman is the organizational mind. She has been <laughs> fantastically organized and will be the chain that links us all together and keeps us in line and going toward our successful dimension. I do try. I'm Hal Stell. This is my better half. Uh, I come uh, from, I'm a, I'm a film critic and author, and I run film festivals, <coughs> many film festivals at a lot of local conventions in Arizona. Uh, both north and south in Southern California. I've done two here at Westercon this weekend. And I'll be back at Gaslight Gathering. Um, so I'd expect to be programming some, some films um, for uh, probably on the steampunk track and for, for sci fi at uh, Westercon, should we win the bid. I'm going to record many of these, these conventions. Gary? Well, I'm Gary Swati, and I, uh, I chaired uh, Exocon 16 and CopperCon 28. And I uh, I've run the music and I've done registration. I've actually worked every possible position in conventions. And so that's part of the big experiential base that we have. Very good staff, experienced people, done a lot of conventions. I think we can do very well. Uh, I, I should have mentioned I'm also a board member for Leprechaun, as is Kevin. Among other things. Among other things. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm on the board or past board member of uh, uh, Central Arizona Speculative Fiction Society, Arizona Chronicles Inc., uh, Leprechaun Inc., uh, sort of in various positions.
his own board and at uh, conventions, uh, or uh, helped bring the uh, uh, Bronco Ball to uh, Phoenix uh, a few years ago. Uh, worked with Can't Stop Serenity in both Phoenix and Tucson. Uh, I've been involved in many organizations on many different levels, uh, from registration and counseling. Uh, let me just run through some of the quick numbers in light of some of the earlier questions. The room rates are going to be 119, that includes a $10 reserve fee. Uh, that's uh, King Queen, single group block. Uh, and, and suites, uh, assuming there are any available. Sorry. Why don't you talk into the front of the microphone? Back. It's really a quite hard to hear you in the back. Okay, sorry, thank you. Uh, and then uh, we're selling two supports uh, for $20. If uh, you pre support or you vote, you will yeah. get two votes. But if you pre support or you vote, you will lock in the lowest possible membership rates. Uh, if you pre support and vote, you have an attending membership. Either one will get you support. Uh, we have a uh, slightly, uh, we also have rates for vendors and artists, of the, and uh, those rates uh, include uh, you know, either one panel or, or one table, uh, and then uh, with the option to upgrade. And I can give details uh, you know, based on questions. Okay, some obvious questions. Uh, getting to your facility from airport and train station and other places people might come in without cars? It's on the light rail and we have a, there's a free van from the airport. Uh, I'm sure it will come up just be, just because, so I'll let you get it out of the way for me. Weather early July? Hot. Indoor temperature is saying yeah. Yes. It's, 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 a, it's a little warm in Tempe. The Mission Farms, however, has a lot of courtyard space, um, a lot of carpet walkways, so even if you go outside, uh, you don't have to be out in the blazing sun. Right. Any questions from the audience? Yes. When are you going to have your website up? As soon as possible. We uh, should have something up next week, should we win the bid, and uh, build up that through the next, uh, next month or two. Okay, just just something so the reporter can hear it though asking when will the website be up. And then of course the left comes slides on running and it's covering the, the previous convention line. What are you going to do to reach out to the first audiences? Uh, what are you going to do to reach out to the first audiences? We're going to talk to a lot of the founders on social media. We're very involved on uh, social media. With uh, Leprechaun, I would like to say that we, I think, uh, we help bring in a lot more attendees by having, you know, by talking and starting conversations in several of the different uh, family-based groups. Yeah, we have a solid representation of Leprechaun from a number of uh, minority groups, and they're all very, very welcome. And we want to be very keen on expanding that and bringing lots of content in to go by one other uh, point I'll toss out, one of the things that we have done in the past in living this past Leprechaun is invite other local fan groups to help sponsor Guess of Honor. Uh, that uh, helps both the convention in terms of uh, reducing costs and generates interest from the group that might not otherwise attend the uh, convention because someone they want uh, to be a guest is actually going to be there. Yeah, absolutely. And as an example, the United Federation of Planets in Phoenix celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. So they sponsored David Gerald and I believe they more as well. Um, so we have two guests sponsored through that fan group. Okay. Any further questions? Are you donating any memberships to Connor Bus? We have not made a decision either way on that. Uh, you know, first we have to uh, we have to win the vote. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those things where uh, we are talking about uh, what we will do if uh, the vote's in our favor. Uh, we haven't made any hard and fast decisions on that, but we certainly uh, consider that. <coughs> and, and one thing similar to the concept I've already talked to the Highline Society here about potential blood drive, um, which we have had on occasion, but don't frequently have, so we're very keen on having one of those. Even though I'm English, I'm not allowed to do what I'm saying. Any additional questions? Okay. Any 
anybody else representing a bid for Western 1070 in 2017? Okay, thank you. 